Hi, this is Stephen Lewis from Experience Internet, and this is a short screencast to introduce Campaigner, a new add-on for integrating Expression Engine and Campaign Monitor. Uh, here we are on the extension screen within Expression Engine. You can see Campaigner's here. We've got it installed, but we haven't uh, enabled it yet. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you a few other things we've got set up within Expression Engine and also within Campaign Monitor. Um, so first, if we go over to the custom profiles, the custom member profiles, you'll see we've got four fields set up. Uh, subscribe to product updates, subscribe to company news, which products do you own, and language. So if I go into subscribe to product updates first, you'll notice that it's uh, the field type is a drop-down list, and we have two options, no and yes. Um, subscribe to company news is exactly the same. Uh, which products do you own, that's just a text input, so it'll accept any text the user types in. And finally, language has got three options, uh, English, French, and German, again, as a drop-down list. So if we go to Membership Preferences, uh, Campaigner supports all three types of uh, membership activation. No activation required, self-activation via email, and manual activation by an administrator, which is the one we're going to go with for this demo. So we jump into Campaign Monitor now. You can see we've got three main lists set up, uh, Company News, Product Announcements, and Security Announcements. Um, we've also got a couple of clients set up, um, Acme Widgets and Megacorp Industries. We're going to stick with Acme for this demo. So if I show you some custom fields we've got set up, first for company news, we've got global region and preferred language here. And also for security announcements, we've got product ID. So you can start to see how everything ties in with the Expression Engine custom fields. So let's activate Campaigner. Okay. And if we go into settings, uh, first thing you need to do is enter your API key. Luckily I have that on the clipboard here, so I'll do that and uh, get clients. Right, here we go. As you can see, we've got two clients, Acme and Megacorp. We're going to stick with Acme and get the mailing list for that client. And here are the mailing lists, company news, product announcements, and security announcements. Now, ideally, we'd like people to sign up to all three when they register with the site. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is tick all three mailing lists there. Now, security announcements is mandatory. Um, but the other two, they opt in. So what we need to do is set a trigger field for those. So the first thing I'll do is I will select a member field. And for this, I've got the subscribe to company news. You'll notice because it's a drop down list, it automatically changes. So you don't have to remember which value to enter. So I'm going to select yes as the trigger value. Uh, do the same for product announcements, but with the product updates field. We've also got the custom fields here, global region, preferred language, and product ID. So for global region, I'm going to map that custom field to the built-in member field location. And for preferred language, I'm going to do it with our custom field language. Do the same for security announcements. This time I'm going to map product ID to our custom field, which product do you own? And that's it. We're set up. Click on Save Settings. Now if I switch over to another browser, and I'll just go and um, register with the site. So I'm just using the standard registration form here. Uh, it also works with the user module from Solspace. I'll just create the member here. Uh, enter a screen name and an email address. And then the first field that's of interest to us here is uh, location, which is a, a built-in member field, but it's mapped to one of the campaign monitor fields. Now I'm not interested in product updates. I'm going to subscribe to company news. And the product I own is the SuperDuper widget. And I fancy getting my uh, emails in French for some reason. So there we go. I've registered with the site. Here I'm told that the site administrator is going to activate my account. So let's go back to the control panel and have a look. So if we have a look at the uh, pending members, we can see stands there. And if we go over to Campaign Monitor and refresh the page, we'll notice that no new subscribers have been added, as we might expect. So if we activate Stan, won't bother sending him an email. OK, that's done. And we'll go back to Campaign Monitor and refresh the page again. And there we have it. We've got a new subscriber for Company News, nothing for Product Announcements because we didn't opt in, and one for Security Announcements. So if we have a look at Company News and Security Announcements in detail, we can see under Company News there's Stan. We'll click on him and we'll see his custom fields, United Kingdom and French. And we'll do the same for Security Announcements. And there you go, there's Stan again. And this time his product ID is the SuperDuper widget. And that's Campaigner, Expression Engine and Campaign Monitor made easy.